Hello, fellow woodhounds. Brady, the honest woodcutter, is here. Uh, I'm making a load of ash today. Uh, I'm gonna be splitting wood out of this pile here. Pile around. Some of this was from the first big ash tree I cut at Larry's, and some is from the one that I'm currently working on. I was actually saving this ash for another client, but she's not ready yet, so she's gonna get some of the some of the more green ash, I guess. Um, anyway, since it's ash, since it's since it is furnace wood, he's got a big old furnace. I'm not splitting it real very small, but I don't want it too huge either because he's got really bad knees and it's, it's hard for him to lift these heavy heavy pieces anymore. So that's about as big as I want to go. Uh, I uh, finally got my 25 ton splitter back. Let me put the lid back on it. I finally got the 25 ton splitter back. It's been down for months. The uh, these little guides right here in the uh, splitter head were bad, and it was letting the it the, it was letting the head head wiggle back and forth a lot. And when it would get crooked and in a bind and under pressure, it was causing it to squeeze hydraulic fluid out of the cylinder. So it was a bad situation. So we had to wait for months for those parts to come from China and for them to finally get it fixed. Just just so freaking ridiculous and so over it, it's unbelievable. Um, and then I got it back and it wouldn't run. And so I called them back and they said, well, bring it back again. So I took it back to them and they found rust in the gas tank. Uh, the, apparently at some point over the winter, one of these metal cans that I use, one of these equal cans I use, had drawn moisture. And the moisture got in the tank, rust at the bottom of the tank, and then the tank, the rust was getting into the carburetor and, and plugging it up. So I had to have them put a new tank on it, clean the carburetor again. I'm over $300 in this thing on repairs. None of it was cert none of it was covered under warranty. They said these little these old plastic guides right here are wear parts, so they're not covered under warranty. I said, so why the hell do you use a freaking plastic part then on a splitter? Make it metal or some other material that won't wear out so quickly and covered under warranty, you jackasses. So I'm not very happy with Yard Max. If it was my money, I wouldn't buy another one of these things. I probably won't. I, I'm looking at it. I'm, I'd like to have a county line splitter, a 40 ton, but I don't have the cat. I don't have the financial, financial means to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be splitting this wood for for build today, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this thing up over here in the tripod and. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. That's actually a pretty good angle right there. Maybe get this a little bit up. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I had to inform. I had to inform Bill yesterday that this will be the last year I'll cut wood, cut wood for him, um, because we are buying another place and moving out of the county. I'm gonna be 40 miles from West Plains after I move, so uh, I won't be able to probably serve any. I've got one customer here that I know for sure will buy wood from me. She said she would pay the delivery fee. But I'm gonna have to start all over again, uh, and so that, and so my firewood, my firewood's about to come to a grinding halt here pretty soon, until I, because I, we're buying a church to remodel into a house, and I'm gonna have, at least a year's worth of work to do to it to turn it into a house. I mean, it's gonna be a cool project. I'm excited for it, but at the same time, it's really gonna screw my wood business. So. Um, I, it wasn't my idea and it wasn't my plan, but we've had so much trouble with our neighbors here being jackasses and calling the law out here all the time and everything else that we're just fed up with it. Plus, this this yard's too this yard's too hit too slopey and too rugged for for mom to be getting up and down it all the time. And Jim don't come out in the yard at all. So this place we're buying has a nice open flat lot. I wish we had some more trees, but. Um, we were able to buy it outright, and then we're gonna we're gonna move down there more or less. At least move the, at least move enough stuff out of the house that we can get it staged. I've got some work I got to finish on the house. I've been working on that as well, so that's why it's been taking a lot of my time away from firewood. I, I don't have a lot of still have time for this. Um, Cause I gotta get the stuff done so we can get the house listed and get what we want out of it. Um, so uh, so yeah, we're gonna list the house and hopefully get it sold. Fairly, I hope we get it sold fairly quick because our payment went up quite a bit. So, um, but anyway, that's the big announcement I've been I've been waiting to make, and I decided it was finally time. And 
change so I hope you all don't mind the uh, theme of my channel changing for a while because I'm probably gonna do some remodeling videos show you guys the new property and what I got going on down there until I can do firewood I, I will do some firewood because I'm gonna have to cut wood for us anyway but uh, I won't, I'm not gonna have a lot of time for it so I'll I'll try to I'll try to make videos when I can but no guarantees so anyway I'm going to uh, I'm gonna fire up this 25 ton splitter and we're gonna go splitting on this ash it's amazing how much faster this thing is than my 35 ton I had forgotten how fat how much difference there is my god it's to the point where it's to the point where I'm actually thinking about selling that one but I'm afraid if I do then I won't have the money to replace it and I like having a backup because I always got something broke down so I don't know I have decisions to make I know that much
I'm warm, y'all. I need a drink. I think that's good. I think that's enough for now. I, uh, seems like there's something else I wanted to say, but I don't remember what it was. So stay healthy, my friends, and stay safe, and we'll see you guys soon.